everyone welcome to programmingandpython.com i am back with another video here in this video i am going to print the pattern of letter t in the previous videos i have shown you how to how to print the patterns up to letter s now it's time for letter t i will also keep all the previous videos a playlist in the description and also in the i button somewhere in the right corner of this video so make sure to click that i button to find all the previous videos up to pattern letter s so now it's time for letter t Let's get started. So this is the pattern of letter T I am going to print today. So let's see how we can do this. I will assume the size as 5 and I will say it as S as equal to 5 and as usual I will take two loops one for row looping and other for column looping. So for, for row looping I will take for I in range of S. So for column looping I will take another for loop for J in range of s so now i took two loops for loop two for loops for a, uh, one for row and one for column now i'll see now i'll see where i need to print stars and where i need to print spaces so here i need to print stars in two conditions one is the first row and the second one is the middle column so i need to write conditions for first row and middle column to print stars and in all other cases i'll print spaces so let me write conditions for printing your stars so if this is row, uh, row is looking for i, so if i equal to equal to 0, that means it will print the first row as range starts from 0, if I give range of uh, 5, that means 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, so if I want to print the first row, I have to give range equal to equal to 0, or I need to print the middle column, so j equal to equal to s by by 2, this is a float division, so you might get integers or float values by dividing, so if I give j by by 2, it will uh, take the third value, so if I give 5, it will take 2 and if I give 6, it will take 3. So that's why we can use this. In these conditions, I will print stars. Here, here I will give an end as space because by default print takes new line as an end parameter. So if I don't give this end, after printing the first star, it will go to the new line, next line. So I don't want that. So either I'll give and a space or empty. So after printing the star, it will stay in the it will go into a space or it will stay there itself. So that's the reason why I'm giving and as empty. So in this if condition, for these two conditions, I have printed stars and else I'll just print spaces. Here on the same, I'll print space and I'll give and as space or uh, empty. So this is how I print for if conditions, one for printing first row, one for printing middle column. This j equal equal to s by 2 is for middle column, i equal equal to 0 is for first row. And in all other cases, I'll print spaces. So after this first for row, I need to print empty print. So because I'll, uh, so after first iteration, after printing all these stars or spaces, it should go to the next line. And after printing all these uh, stars and spaces, it should go to the next line. For that, I have written empty print. So these are the conditions, guys. Uh, for this, uh, these are the conditions you print stars and spaces and finally we formed a T. So this is the explanation. Uh, now I'll go into my PyCharm IDE, code the same, see the output, see the results. So I'm in my PyCharm IDE. Here I'm going to print the pattern of letter T as I just discussed in whiteboard. So uh, I'll just initially ask the size from the user. Size equal to input enter a size not size size I also give a tab so that it will give us a tab space and here and here I also cast this to integer so that it will only take integer numbers because I am writing a condition here if size less than 8 so I write some conditions. This is just for output formatting purpose. This is nothing related to the pattern. So if the size is less than eight, I will ask the user to enter a size with minimum of eight. Minimum of eight. And else here I will print the actual pattern. I'll print pattern. I'll define a function print pattern and I will take that size as parameter 
So here this if condition is just for output set and again I'm saying uh, we just need to format it if the letter is small we might not see the letter correctly so I'm just uh, uh, small check to uh, ensure that the size is greater than 8 if it's greater than 8 I'll for go forward and create this pattern so uh, diff and I'll write this and uh, here I'll take the size as n so here as I said in the program in the whiteboard we need two for loops for row in range of n that is the size of the letter for column in range n that is for the column looping so these are two loops row looping and column looping and we'll write some conditions here if so if I write some conditions in if and here when those conditions are met I need to print a star as I said and also I'll give n as empty because after printing a star uh, we uh, need to go we don't want to go to next line as I said and else I'll print stars I mean print spaces and finally out of the first four I need to print empty print to go to the next line so now I'll write the conditions here if you see this is the T that means we need first row and middle column so let me write those conditions row equal to equal to zero that will be the first uh, row or I had another condition for printing the middle column if or uh, already if uh, column equal to equal to n by by 2 so I think those are the two conditions we need to print first row and middle column let me save this and run run pattern t enter a size 8 you see you can see this pattern I will enter in some odd numbers you can see exactly it will be in the middle because for 9 if I do n by by 2 it will have uh, 4 here and 4 here the middle one and if I do 15 we see a bigger t so this is how we can print the pattern of letter t if you want we can also limit this to r if we feel that uh, the this uh, this column is bigger we can also limit to half like if column equal to n by by 2 and row less than n minus 3 that means it will only print uh, uh, you can see the this this will be shorter if I do a 8 again you can see this will be shorter if you want to if you feel this is bigger n minus it looks even more shorter I'll do n minus 1 at least so I'll run 8 so you can see this I think is reasonable so it's up to your wish uh, you don't need to do at this condition at all it will get a t but if you feel the tail uh, is a little bit bigger you can do this so that's it for the program guys hope you like the video guys if you like it please consider subscribing to my channel programming in python.com I'll continue this pattern series up to letter Z and after this letter series I'm planning another series and also all the code I discussed here in this video will be also be on the github I'll post the link in the description I'll also make a blog post of it I'll also post that in the description so make sure you're not missing description I'll also post some useful links for some coupons and discounts on this on some other courses on and some other python courses so see you in the next video stay tuned bye bye